Welcome to your Campaign Manager 360 Fundamentals Training Series. In this video, we're going to explore CM360's hierarchy and learn how to navigate the user interface. By the end of this video, you should be able to navigate the CM360 hierarchy and explain how its structure impacts your work. You should also be able to explain what each area of the user interface does. Let's get started. This is a visual representation of CM360's hierarchy. At the top is your network, where AdSwerve sets up your account. The next level is the advertiser, where you'll be able to create any advertisers you need, as well as their floodlight tags. Next is campaigns, where you will likely be spending most of your time in Campaign Manager 360. This is where you traffic out your campaigns and recreate your media buys. You'll need to build your campaigns under the correct advertiser, since that advertiser houses the default floodlight tags that attribute conversions to your campaigns. Below the campaign level are all the other hierarchy levels in your trafficking sheet. The site represents your publisher. The placement represents your ad slot. The ad provides instructions for which creatives serve. And the creative is your actual creative asset. You can apply a lot of properties at higher levels that lower levels will then inherit, which saves you time when trafficking out your campaigns. Now that you're familiar with the CM360 hierarchy, let's jump into the platform and learn how to navigate the CM360 user interface. Let's start in the top right-hand corner of the site with your profile icon. Click this icon to manage your profile. You can also see the network ID here, which is important because you will need this if you reach out to AdSwerve for assistance. Working our way toward the left of CM360's top toolbar, we see the grid icon. This is the Google Marketing Platform menu. Clicking this icon lets us navigate between our GMP products. Currently, I'm in Campaign Manager 360's trafficking module, where we will build our advertisers and floodlight tags which are code snippets that are placed on a website to capture data around a user's actions. We'll talk a lot more about floodlight tags in later videos. The trafficking module is also where we traffic our campaigns. Once your campaigns are live and generating data, you'll be able to view that data in the reporting and attribution module. You may see a planning module. If you do, you can ignore it. Google started deprecating the planning module in February, 2023. Next, we have the notifications icon, where you can view any alerts or notifications that you've received. Then we have this very helpful question mark icon. Clicking this question mark brings you into the help area, where you can review articles that relate to the area of CM360 that you're currently working in. You can use one of the articles that automatically appears, or you can type in search terms to find what you need. The gear icon allows you to adjust time zone and notification settings, and the magnifying glass icon opens a search bar so you can do a quick search for items saved in CM360. Now let's move to the left navigation, where we have the All Campaigns tab, the All Advertisers tab, and the Admin tab. We'll talk more about the functionality of each of these in future videos. For now, Note that the Admin tab is where you manage user roles and profiles for Campaign Manager access and create placement strategies and content categories to use in your campaigns. The All Advertiser tab is where you can build advertisers and their floodlights. You can also build and see advertiser-specific campaigns in this tab and view all of the advertisers in your account. Finally, we have the All Campaigns tab where you will build new campaigns and where you can view all the campaigns across your entire account. Now that you have a better understanding of the Campaign Manager 360 hierarchy and user interface, watch the next training video to learn even more about CM360.